Girl, you gossip, sister. Um, yeah. Welcome back, everyone, to the Sister Girl Gossip with the Gamer Girls. Sister Girl. As everybody clicks off from that intro. <laughs> <laughs> they heard your nasty sounding voice. And that's why we have faces for TV and not radio. <laughs> Someone's just like scrolling on YouTube. is like, oh, look at this, uh, a podcast. I've been looking for a new podcast. And they click on it this year. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right. It's going to dislike and we're going to go on to the next one. We are going to attract a different kind of crowd. Can't wait. <laughs> What's that like moaning? <laughs> well, in the Sister Girl gossip, um, me and Chris are going to be telling various stories throughout our lives. We have lived very uh, crazy lives up until this point. So we have plenty of stories to tell. Chris is, you know, on the other side of the, the country in Florida. So he has a crackly little crunchy microphone so enjoy that hey <laughs> just turn into like the butchest man hey what's going on what's chris <laughs> oh, man. What's up, tell my stories. yeah <laughs> i'm just i'm just here to tell my story about how you know uh my babe at the gym you know she's looking at other guys no um <laughs> oh who's the character uh the ugly stepsister from Shrek. Who's the guy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. If, if you had to picture me and Chris, that is that is us and just wrapped up in a package. <laughs> Lord. But today we're. To- Who's the guy? <laughs> today we're talking about the guy. <laughs> but oh, as, no. speaking of the the ugly uh, lady from Shrek, we're talking about accidents today. Whether that's, you know, accidents where we wet ourselves, accidents where we hurt somebody or ourselves, or uh, accidents like Chris. Oh my god, technically I was. Oh my god, (laughs) girl. (laughs) You can't take my joke and make it a truth. Oh, sorry. (laughs) Well, sometimes we are. You've already opened the can of worms, so. (laughs) Not everyone is planned. That's fair. You have, you have to plan for the unexpected, though. Okay, so I guess I'll start um, with a stupid one, because Cole's got a lot of really funny ones. Like, lots of them. Mine are all just kind of like, okay. I've done a lot of stupid things in my life, so it's led to a lot of accidents. I've done a lot of stupid things as well, but I'm just, like, really careful. All right, so starts out. What's, your, what's an accident you've, you've had in your life? Let's see. What would my first accident be? Um. So <laughs> sorry, I just thought of a thought where you were gonna be like, when we became friends. <laughs> <laughs> the first biggest mistake I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> so all it's it's like it's a short story because it it's kind of like a segue into lots of other accidents and mistakes I've made. Um, not really, but it was the very first time I wrecked my dad's car. It was that golden oh. Buick. Do you remember <laughs> that car? <laughs> yes. You didn't have it for very long. So, I think. Well, my dad had it for like years and then I got my license. The car was probably like seven, eight years old. And my dad, for some reason, trusted me to drive it alone. Um, <laughs> and I was at my grandparents' house and we were having a birthday party. And up the driveway, because it's a long driveway, it's out in the boonies, Mm -hmm. um, it's a long gravel road. And then once you get up to the house, the the driveway is surrounded by trees. There's like lines of trees. Oh, (laughs) no. And my dumb ass thought, hey, it's probably going to be easier just to reverse through this whole driveway surrounded by trees. And so... I didn't know I had a lead foot at the time. I do now. <laughs> but um, I hit the gas really freaking hard. And I see a tree coming up on um, the driver's side. And I was like, oh, shit. So I turn the wheel the wrong way. I slam into <laughs> a tree. <laughs> Amazing. And there was the biggest dent <laughs> that punctured my dad's wheel on the oh. driver's side. And oh, no. um, my uncle and aunt, it was my uncle Rick, 
Um, God rest his soul, he's not with us anymore. And my aunt, uh, Karen, who, you know, I don't even know where she went. They, <laughs> instead of helping me, they sat there and laughed at me. I, I, and I, yes. no, one thought to, <laughs> no one thought to tell my dad. Um, oh, no. I so, wouldn't be holding off on that for as long as possible. No, I was so upset. I was like, this is going to be really bad. I'm going to I'm going to have to pay for this. I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> Uncle Rick and Karen go out back and tell everyone. And <laughs> as soon as they get to the back, because I have like a hokey family, you know, they start making fun of me and making everything <laughs> worse. I have to find my dad. That's so funny. That's and awful. What's so funny. And, you know, my dad, you know, he takes everything seriously. Oh, yeah. And. As soon as I told him I got in a wreck in his car, he was like, what the fuck, we're, you know, like really upset. <laughs> and he, he came outside. Probably thought you got like in a three car pile up. No, not even because he knew I didn't leave the driveway because <laughs> normally I'll tell him where I'm going. So um, uh, he comes outside, he sees the dent, he sees the tire damage. He's like, you are never driving my vehicle again. And I was like, okay, cool. And, you know, we got the car fixed and all that stuff. It wasn't that expensive. My dad never let me drive that <laughs> Buick again. To the same. Ever. And that was my very first car wreck. I've never gone into a car wreck after that. Girl, you're the opposite of me. I just lied. <laughs> I lied to you. Remember at King's Castle, whenever yes. I got backed into from one of the other dancers? <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't your fault. No, but still. So I've technically gotten into two wrecks, but the first one was definitely my fault. <laughs> Girl, you're the opposite of me. You learn from your mistakes. I got, I've been in like seven car accidents. Yeah. I still remember your first one, your first big one. Yeah, there wasn't. Well, I was in Canada at the time. <laughs> there was actually like a mini wreck before that first one. Cause I, I think you're talking about my white Jeep, right? Yes. So there was an incident about a month beforehand where I got it stuck in the mud and I had to get it towed to my house. Oh no. So, you know, um, that street over by my parents' house, there used to not be a street that connected that Walmart to that other side of the street. It was just like, right. it was just land. There was nothing there. Um, I think the owners were being stingy, like wouldn't sell like that little strip of land to the city. So it was just empty. Like there yeah. wasn't, there wasn't any trees. It was just empty land. And I was like, I'm in a Jeep. I just got back from Walmart. I'm going home. I'm not going to go around the block. I'm just going to, I'm just going to cut I can through. Go off-roading. Yeah. I was like, I'm in a Jeep. Of course I can. Not thinking, oh, I'm in a two wheel Jeep or in a front wheel Jeep, like uh, things aren't going to end well. And it was like rainy. <laughs> it was like December. It was like really close to Christmas. I want to say it was like four or five days to Christmas and it was raining and wet. So it was just a muddy mess. And I got about 30. I don't never remember this. I don't think I really told many people. I got like 30 feet into that little property immediately got stuck. Couldn't get out. <laughs> just mud up to my ankles just a mess was revving the car mud flying everywhere had to like call my dad did you cry uh, a little bit i had to call my dad to come pick me up <laughs> and i had called a tow truck and the tow truck almost got stuck because of how deep my car was in the mud <laughs> oh i hate that though they brought it back to the house but they had it on like a big tow truck like one of the ones where the entire car is on the tow truck and the lights Correct. they had like two giant like flashing yellow lights so like all of the neighbors could like see this dirty muddy car on a tow They're truck judging you well and taff was coming over that night oh no <laughs> so taff taff rolls up like and sees my car on this tow truck and he's like are you okay i was like yeah it's fine i just got stuck in some mud like i just like <laughs> like I was so embarrassed from that. So that was like the first, not really car accident, but like that was like the beginning of the end. A little accident. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little tiny one. That was, <laughs> yeah. the, that was like just, you know, baby steps get into getting into accidents. And then my first real accident was, um, again, over by my parents' house, really bad road design over there. They had a four way stop sign 
right after the four-way stop sign, like maybe 30 feet, there is a turn in to a neighborhood, like right at the other end of the stop sign. So I'm waiting right. at the stop sign. Like I'm looking, I'm waiting my turn. I finally get up there, look both ways and I start going forward. And there was a car in front of me or no, there was a truck in front of me. And then there was a car in front of that truck and the car was turning into the neighborhood, but the truck like stopped very quickly and didn't have his lights on. So I didn't really know what was going on. So like, as, as soon as I start going, like I have my foot on the pedal and then like have to immediately like break to, to a full stop. So I was like, Oh, there's no way I'm not going to hit this guy. So like, I like swerved to the side oh God. and just, just went straight into this guy's, uh, <laughs> bed of his truck and just totaled that Jeep. I remember you sending me pictures because I was in Canada at the time. I thought you killed somebody because all the cars looked so bad. Girl, I was maybe going like 25 miles an hour. I don't know what happened. It was just bad luck. What was uh, really bad luck for the guy that the truck driver was he just bought his car. So that was really unfortunate for him. He was literally driving it That's back. Sad. He was driving it back from the dealership. That's how like new that car was that I destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you destroyed it. <laughs> his, your looked bad. his wife uh came because I guess they like they lived close by. So his his wife came over there and I was maybe sixteen. Like it was like right after I got my permit. Like I was probably like just turned sixteen. And this wife like comes out and she is yelling at me, like just like, "What is wrong with you? How can you do this? Like, wh- I, wh- were you not paying attention?" And I'm like 16, and like I'm already crying because like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know who to call. I don't know what to do with insurance. Like I'm just, like I'm this this poor helpless kid. And then some like random Karen comes up and starts yelling at me. And I'm just like, <laughs> "Mom, go pick me up. I'm scared." Yeah, exactly. I think at some point she eventually realized that like I was like a deer in the headlights and was like about to like st- just go into the fetal position and cry. So she like stopped yelling at me and just like walked away. <laughs> you know, some people are really good and some people are really bad. And I feel like she's in the middle. Yeah. And then there was the, uh, the, the H T cruiser. Yeah. I had a, <laughs> I had a Chevy, a black Chevy HHR that I had for about a year. And I, I don't even remember where I was going, but I was making a left hand turn at a light and there was a semi truck in front of me and there was maybe four or five cars in front of the semi truck. Oh God. And I couldn't see, I couldn't see the light because I was behind a semi truck. So <laughs> traffic starts going in the turn lane. I see three or four cars go. I'm like, Oh, awesome. It must be a green light. Cause four cars have gone. The semi truck goes. The semi truck goes completely fine. So here I am, just like, oh, awesome, let's turn, and not realizing that it was a solid green and not an arrow. But somehow, five cars and a semi truck got mm-hmm. by just fine. So this this old lady just going like 40, 50 miles an hour, just t bones the crap out of me. Totals that car. Totals that car and then sues me. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> just like, and I told the cops, like, I was just like, there was literally five cars that went in a semi truck. I couldn't see the light. I assumed it was green because <laughs> five cars in a semi truck made it. How did this lady not see all of these cars going? And like, how do you not slow down a little bit? Like, I would see that and at least slow down in case, like, worst case scenario. Not, not this seventy year old. Remember cr- this story, Cole? Oh my god. <laughs> I was living in Branson at the time too. I remember you so well, all, of the, all, all of my wrecks that happen or when you're out of town. I think it's like something to do with you being like not in town. Like you're putting a hex on me or something. <laughs> well, you haven't wrecked this. I lied. You, you did. You you lied. On the wreck. <laughs> this one wasn't my fault at least, but I did get in a third. No, hold on. There was a pre-wreck. There was a pre-wreck with my red Jeep. So I got another Jeep that was the exact same model as my white one. It was a red Jeep oh God, Patriot. It was a red Jeep Patriot. I named it Rex. was really proud of it because that was like the first car like I fully bought 
like with my own money because I think I was like early 20s at this time. I had that car for a long time. I had that car for like four or five years. <laughs> and about two years ago, I was in line at Chipotle. I don't know what this lady was doing. I have no idea what she was thinking. So you know how in some Chipotles they have the drive through, right? Right. So there is a pretty solid line, but there's more than enough room for her to not get in line. She could have turned somewhere else. So she like pulls up to the line. I think she was going to go inside. So she, right before she goes into oh, the turn no. into the drive through where there's like no way back, she like stops and I'm, you know, I'm pretty solidly behind her. Like I'm not close. Right. I'm maybe like two car. I'm probably like two car lengths behind her. And she stops, so I stop. Like, okay, I don't know what she's doing. It's fine. And then I see her put her uh, reverse lights on, and she starts backing up. And it took me like a second or two to be like, is she? She has nowhere to go. Like she, it, she keeps backing up. She, she can't go anywhere. She either goes straight and turns around, or she goes in the drive-through. Like there's nowhere else to go. And she just keeps backing up. She keeps backing up. And she just keeps backing up. So eventually, like, I start, like, laying on my horn, like, uh, bitch, you're going to, like, run into the back of me. Oh, God. <laughs> like, what are you doing? So, like, I have my horn on for, like, a solid five seconds, not stopping, like, just full blast. And then she just runs into the, just reverses into me like an idiot. It sounded like she did that on purpose. <laughs> no, it was it was an accident. Like it was not on purpose at all. And then she was she old? No, she was maybe in her thirties. And she pulls into a parking spot, and I pull in next to her. And I was like about ready to blow up at her because she like <laughs> steps out of her car. She's like, "What the heck were you doing behind me? Did you not see me?" And I was like, "Uh, bitch, you were versed into me. I was." laying on my horn for like 10 seconds and she's like well why didn't you reverse i was like because it's not my job to reverse out of your way <laughs> and like i, I oh think my God, I, of course I, I like gonna blame you i like kind of st- i think i kind of stunned her and i was just like no i'm not taking this from this like if i'm gonna get in a car accident and it's not my fault i'm not gonna like back down hell yeah I, I look at my car. My car was totally fine. Like there was not a scratch on my car. She, she messed up her bumper. Like her bumper was messed up. I don't know. Like, so I guess obviously you could tell she was the one who yeah, was at fault, but she had like a little crappy, like, you know, 1990, like Chevy, whatever. Like it wasn't a good looking car, but I mean, when she, mm-hmm. she messed up her bumper back into me and I she like had a lemon, I looked at her car. I looked at mine. I was like, my car is totally fine. If you want to go, you can just go. Like, we don't have to call the cops. I'm not going to get a statement. My car's fine. So if you want to go, that's on you. Or you can keep arguing with me and we'll, you know, make a scene out of this. So she was like, oh, no, I'm fine. And then, like, got her car and left. And she didn't go to Chipotle. <laughs> she just left. <laughs> you upset her. I guess. Good. <laughs> she deserved ruined her day. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I ruined her lunch, too, because she did not get Chipotle like she was going to. <laughs> so that was the pre wreck oh, and then there was the wreck wreck where i was going to work this was a couple months ago where i was yeah. going to work and i was sitting in a stoplight there was maybe 10 cars in front of me just minding my own business just not doing anything just like thinking about um oh i need to get a coffee what coffee am i gonna get oh i got these projects going on I need to make sure I send this invoice. And then just out of nowhere, just, just (laughs) boom. Boom. (laughs) I don't know what had happened. I like was dazed. Luckily my airbags didn't go off. I like looked up and I was like, what just happened? Like out of nowhere, like you just get like whiplash and you're like, what the heck was that? God was letting you know he's angry. (laughs) I guess I put my car in park and I look behind me and there's just this, mangled car behind me i was like oh (laughs) some lady just went like 50 into the back of my car (laughs) and i get out like my neck was a little sore but i was overall fine like i did not get injured at all my car i thought was fine at the time but i guess she had like dug under my car and just completely destroyed the undercarriage of my car to where it was unsalvageable that's so sad 
I think the the quote was like thirty grand to fix it, and my car was m- maybe not even worth ten. Yeah, because I know you love that car. <laughs> I know they're just like cute little cars. They get the job done. I got, my brother had the same one, so after that one, I just took my brother's. So I have the same car, except it's black now. Yeah, I remember that. But I get out of my car after this lady hits me, and I go to check on her, and I open her door because there's literally like smoke coming from her car. There's gas leaking all over the road, shooting out of her engine, or there's oil oh, and. God gas shooting everywhere i'm like oh my god i like i'm scared her car is gonna catch on fire i'm like i need to get this girl out of her car so i open the door to her car and she like looks at me like uh, like just moaning i'm like (laughs) you need to get out of your car like it's smoking there's gas everywhere like it could light on fire like you need to get out of your car and then some like other pedestrian like had seen it and like came over to help me out and <laughs> I didn't look down until this I mean it was out of a movie at this point. Oh no. This lady like comes and like unbuckles her seatbelt it's like all right we need to get you out of the car ma'am like come on like grab onto me and then she like looked down and I just her oh god her foot <laughs> <laughs> and I look down and her foot is backwards and i mean (laughs) full on backwards so like both me and this lady were like okay well you're not getting out of the car you're just gonna sit here (laughs) and if it catches on fire good luck i guess (laughs) because i was like there was no getting her out of her car like with like it would it took like four paramedics and a police officer to get out of the car because she was also like heavily intoxicated like she was drunk they arrested her for DUI like on the spot. Like they had a cop ride in the ambulance with her. I'm so sorry to her. It's not funny, but oh, your it's hilarious. delivery. <laughs> I got a did I tell you that I, I got a call from a lawyer and that the city is pressing charges against her? They're like taking this to court. Yeah, you have her ticket or whatever on your fridge. Oh, I, yeah, I have the ticket. I a, a lawyer called me a, 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 about a month ago and was like, "Hey, we're looking for and um, we're just letting you know we have I don't remember what her name was. We just call her like Cindy. I was like, uh, we're calling about your accident with Cindy uh, in May. The city is taking her to court for damages and DUI and restitution or whatever. Um, so we're just trying to get a statement from you. So like I gave them my statement and then I gave them like the witness phone numbers from like the witnesses that were there. And <laughs> the like prosecutor was like, oh, that's great. Love that. Thank you so much. And I was like, yeah, sure. You know. Get her ass. <laughs> oh, good. She was being a fucking idiot. And this was at eight in the morning, by the way. She was blackout drunk, driving erratically. The, one of the witnesses says that he, she was driving the other way, and he saw her like just swerving all over the road. And then I guess she did like a 90 degree like U turn and then like started going the other way into me. Oh, I. I, somehow I missed that whole thing. She was obviously a college aged girl. Oh yeah. She was like 21. Yeah, She probably failed. A if, final. if I remember the, her age on the ticket, it was, I think it was like 21. Like she had just started being able to drink. That is so sad because she ruined her life right there. I, I, I know. I'm just, my biggest question is like that. Like if I ever get asked to like go testify, like if I see her and be like, I don't really care that you hit me. Like it's totally fine on my end. But my biggest question was, why were you drunk at eight a.m.? <laughs> she was probably on a binger from the <laughs> night before. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. But like, how? Like, what did you start drinking at like six o'clock or eleven o'clock at night, and then just keep going for like ten hours? There's no way I could ever do that. Oh my god. I don't know, Cole. I feel like you could. <laughs> Maybe if I was just sipping all night. You like to drink. You like to party. I do, but like I after like three or four, like I'm done for the night. I just want to go home and go to bed. No, you have definitely had the worst luck with your cars. I have bad luck when it comes I still remember the PT Cruiser story. Like that was the funniest thing I had ever heard. You were so upset. It was just so upset. All of them have been upsetting because all of them have been like, I mean, two of them were my fault, but it wasn't like it was my fault because I wasn't like, I, I guess technically I wasn't paying attention, but it was like really weird circumstances where it's like, I didn't feel like I could have got out of that. Like, I don't think there was any scenario where that was avoidable. 
No, definitely not. So those are all of my accident stories. Hopefully the last. I don't want to have any more car accidents. Have you? I forgot to bring up one. Um, when I was driving for Amazon, I was in North Tulsa. And um, you already know how dangerous North Tulsa is. I was backing up out of a business. It was like a tow truck business. And there was a giant ditch on one side. And there was like nothing but mud on the other. So I was trying to back up straight. Uh (laughs) And I hooked too hard. And I got stuck (laughs) sideways in the ditch. Girl, what is with you hooking it into trees and ditches? I'm an awful driver. I should not be allowed. (laughs) But, um... And yet, I'm, like, the most, like, careful driver. And I'm the one getting into the accidents. That was... Your stories are hilarious, though. (laughs) But anyway, I was... I called my boss as I had to, because I could not move. I was sideways. Literally, like, parallel to the ground. I was, like, almost in tears. I was, like, (laughs) Seamus, I'm so sorry. But I... It cannot move like this is an emergency and she was like well you're on your own you know oh. you can either call a tow truck or you can get help on your own and i was like seamus after i get out of this i'm coming back home i'm not delivering the rest of these packages after <laughs> you just treating me like that <laughs> and she was like whatever seamus was like the the big butch like irish lesbian right she was like four foot ten okay so not big tiny. and butch small and tiny <laughs> She was butch, but she was small. <laughs> yes. But, um, so I go back to the business I just delivered to you, and they were like, yeah, man, we got you. Yeah, man. And I tried paying them because I had a $20 bill in my wallet. I was like, please take this because they got me out of the ditch uh-huh. seamlessly. And they were like, no, nah, we don't, we don't need your money. You know, we got your man, your brother now. And I was like, okay, <laughs> cool. Bye. That's like, funny. I'm getting out of here. Bye. I'll never see you again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Bye, peasant people. Thank you so much. <laughs> so so we've talked about accidents now where just car accidents in general. Um, moving on from car accidents, have there been any accidents where like you've hurt yourself? Only one. Oh, no. Only one that I can think of that still pisses me off to this day. Um, it was on cruise line oh, and no. there was it was that lift, that partner <laughs> lift in sailing away that got taken away from me. <laughs> um, we had just opened our contract and it was a back, like back, the girl back flipped onto our shoulders and then we pressed them up and they go into like a straddle and we spin them around. Well, my right shoulder has always had issues and um, you have to imagine me like, two inches shorter and like 30 pounds lighter. (laughs) (laughs) I was like 102 pounds and I was lifting this little pixie girl (laughs) (laughs) and I got her up on my shoulder. I pressed her up and my right shoulder collapses. Like it didn't just dislocate. The whole thing just collapsed. I was in the hospital for like two weeks. (laughs) That sounds horrible. (laughs) And so I was out of um commission for it was like a week and a couple of days and then i was able to like super greet and stuff like that or character God. greet whatever we called it but it was so bad yeah i remember calling my mom and i was like my career is over i'll never <laughs> dance again and, like, <laughs> and literally funny. all it needed was the doctor put his foot in my armpit and pulled really hard everything <laughs> like went back into place and <laughs> That's so funny. And nothing has ever really been the same, but, you know, I can move my shoulder again. (laughs) It goes up and down. It goes up and down. It only cracks every once in a while, so we're doing great. (laughs) It's like an x-ray. It's just, like, shattered completely. (laughs) Really, um, the arm has been, like completely severed but it's just there like somehow by the grace of god it's like <laughs> it still works there so it sounds like you haven't had a lot of injury related accidents where once again no thank god once again on the opposite spectrum i think i've hurt myself more times than any normal person should be hurt in their lifetime <laughs> you've had a really rough life girl you've had a rough- I think most of it's just because I'm an idiot. 
I mean, yeah, but that's that's why we love you. That's why you're so special. <laughs> <laughs> like, I I literally like we were before we started uh, filming. I was like, I need to have a list because like there's so many I could go through, and I'm sure oh, I'm already thinking of ones that I've not put on here. But there's so many injuries that I've had growing up that just a hundred percent could have been avoided. <laughs> like there was one when I was in, I want to say I was in like second or third grade. Uh, you know, my mom used to work at the school we went to. Yes. And she used to teach elementary school. So I would uh, get ready in the morning, go to school with her, and we would get there 30 minutes early or so. And we would go in the side entrance. And the side entrance is where they parked all of the delivery trucks and the uh, U-Hauls. Um, that it was parked over in that area. And right next to the side door and in my brilliant third grade mind i was like i bet i could walk to the door with my eyes closed i think i could do it <laughs> and my dumbass closed i closed my eyes and i got maybe five or six steps and just immediately like just ran straight into the back of one of these giant u-haul trucks Oh my god, lost like four of your teeth. <laughs> head head first. Um just I am surprised I didn't break my nose because I I fell back on the ground. My mom turned around, I was like, what just happened? <laughs> it's like I ran into the truck. <laughs> She's like, how? It's like I had my eyes closed. <laughs> and just I'm just like bleeding profusely from my nose. That was <laughs> that was the first of the accidents. And then there was one in elementary school again i think i was maybe in fifth grade this time where i was playing basketball that was my first mistake i was playing basketball and we had like a co-ed like fifth and sixth grade team no i think it was all middle school so it was fifth sixth and seventh grade team and there was one seventh grader that was maybe like six foot five huge guy just giant man holy and, hell and i hadn't even hit my growth spurt yet so i was maybe like four foot and I, we were playing basketball and we both went up to try and get a rebound. And I don't know what happened, but I tried to go for the rebound and someone like pushed me out of the way and I fell on the ground and I looked up. And in the split second that I looked up, I saw two giant feet coming for my face. <laughs> and that time I did break my nose because... <laughs> I got jumped on by a giant man. I remember you telling me this story years ago. Yeah. My dad was the coach. So he like immediately was like, all right. And practice is over and you're going to the bathroom. <laughs> my dad like took me to the bathroom and <laughs> just like 30 disgusting, bloody used uh, napkins later. Like I finally pass out. Yeah. You and blood. Yeah. Not fun. That one wasn't fun either. Um, I'm trying to remember some of the other ones that were like, I actually got hurt. There was one time, this one wasn't my fault. This is actually one that was not my fault at all. Um, but I went to Cody, Cody's house. Um, and he had a pretty, he was pretty rich. Cody was pretty rich. I don't remember what his dad did, but he had a pretty solid house. Yes. And he was very rich because that house was huge. His his mom at the time was had just cooked us dinner and I was getting I was like, can I get a glass of water? And she's like, yeah, the glasses are up on the cupboard on the left. So I go to open the cupboard and all I did was open the cupboard. I didn't like, you know, shake anything or I wasn't forceful. Just open the cupboard and just like the biggest glass out of nowhere just falls out of the cupboard onto my head and just shatters just shatters oh my god what did his mom say well she knew it was an accident so she was just like oh my god are you okay <laughs> and then it was like just like picked me up and like moved me because there was glass everywhere and then she was like i was barefoot you know totally off topic she was the sweetest woman i think i've ever met oh yeah she was great she was just an amazing lady but yeah, she like, like it was very heartbreaking when she passed. <laughs> yeah, she was pretty cool. But I mean, I, she was not like a big lady. Like she was pretty scrawny and she picked like my fifth grade ass up and like <laughs> just like threw me in the living room. Yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> she was going to make sure you were OK and yeah. you didn't tell your mom. 
<laughs> there was another kitchen related accident that I had where girl, I could just go on all day, honestly, where girl, you have had some accidents. There was a, uh, there's another kitchen related one at my house this time. Uh, again, I wasn't really doing anything stupid. I had tried to throw something away and it didn't make it in the trash can. And I was bending down to pick it up. And I guess my depth perception was not a hundred percent that day. So when I bent down to pick oh, it up, no. <laughs> I bent down to pick up this little napkin and I hit my eye on the corner of the counter <laughs> And it busted my eyelid open. <laughs> and I had to get uh, staples in my eyelid. When was this? This was like, I don't know, eighth, ninth grade. Oh my God. Like, this was another one where it's like, I didn't do anything wrong. I just like went down to pick up some trash and miscalculated where I was at spatially and <laughs> just knocked the crap out of my eye. Like, just, I mean, if I've never seen an eyelid like have a hole in it but it was there <laughs> <laughs> my god Girl, and you you wonder why i faint at blood now like i can tell you why it's all these damn accidents i've had <laughs> like I, I have like ptsd every time i get injured <laughs> i just remember every time you go to the doctor and they take blood i passed out girl oh yeah 100 percent every time um the only other one i can think of where it was my fault that i got hurt was um after we graduated high school, I worked at this industrial cleaning job. I had that job for a couple years. And one of my first... Oh, I remember this. Oh, God. One, one of my first times using a power washer, I didn't really understand like how high pressure that water was. So I'm cleaning the sidewalk, and I clean this one area, and mud flies all over the place. It gets all over myself. I'm like caked in mud. And my hand specifically was really caked in mud. So I was like, I have this giant water gun right here. I'll just wash my hand. I'll just point it point blank at my hand and just wash my hand off. Oh no. Just fire it immediately. Oh god. Blood everywhere, like shooting pain. I have a scar still on my my thumb from where I hit or I guess it wasn't really my thumb. Oh, it was you're more a of a fucking was, idiot. Oh I know. my god. It was it was I guess it's my wrist. It was like right on my wrist because I still have the scar. Yeah, I was oh, I was an it idiot. Hurt so bad. Oh yeah, it was maybe one of the worst pains I've ever had in my life. That's awful because you know that's shooting out at like two hundred miles an hour. Oh yeah, I think I think that's all of my like injury related accidents. You've had such an exciting life. Golly. Girl, I don't know if it's exciting. More like <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> okay, not exciting. You've had a very dangerous life. Yeah. I live on the edge, not by my own choices. <laughs> now, how about let's let's take another turn. Have you had any embarrassing accidents? We'll take it back to Amazon because I do have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so back to Seamus. She was very against us, even though we were working eight to ten hour days, six days in a row. Um, she refused to give us lunch breaks and bathroom breaks. Like she was so against it. And if we didn't meet our quota, you know, she could literally watch us from her phone where we were at at all times. If we stood still for too long, she would, you know, call and harass us. Right. So this one day. I ate my lunch really quick, like scarfed it down, and I had a sweet tea, and sweet tea always makes me need to piss. <laughs> I held in my pee for what felt like two hours because it hit around like seven o'clock at night. It's like nine o'clock at night at this point. It's freezing cold outside. It's like two days before Christmas. And I'm like, oh my God, there's one more package left. I can do this. I don't need to go to the bathroom. It's going to be okay. I bypass one of the gas stations. I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I get to this house. Everything's going great. I have to pee. It hurts really bad, but I'm going to make it. It's going to be great. I get to the front door <laughs> and there was this gust of cold wind. <laughs> <laughs> 
And it was just a flowing river. I was seeing <laughs> everywhere. I was like, this is not it. <laughs> stop, All please. Please stop. <laughs> Girl, I hope they had a camera. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they did because it was like one of those really ritzy neighborhoods in Bartlesville. <laughs> So I'm peeing everywhere. I am like in tears because I'm so embarrassed. And I ran back to my van. I looked behind me. There was a trail of pee (laughs) way down the driveway. Girl, if they did not save this video, that is such a shame. So bad. And my pants, you know, they were soaking wet. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to drive home. I'm done. This is it. (laughs) That's so funny. I I just imagine you like getting into the front porch. And then just like they like looking at the camera and they like see you at the front porch and you're just like, oh god, no, please stop. <laughs> please. And you're just wetting yourself. <laughs> They're just like, what the heck? I, I didn't tell I didn't tell anyone that and until like I want to say it was six months later after I quit the job. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. We went to Nathan's wedding in Colorado, and that's when I was like, okay, I think I can tell people now. I think it's funny now. <laughs> oh yeah. The embarrassment has died down enough. Well, I'm glad you brought up. Yeah, now it's just a really funny story. I'm glad you brought up a a, a pee related story because I actually had a a, a pee related accident about a week ago. And I don't think I've told oh, anyone. Oh yet. no! I I am so upset because I feel like I am like a five year old child sometimes. So I was. It was just a normal night. I think it was like a Thursday night. I go to bed. And I have this really intense dream that I have to pee and I can't find a bathroom. I am like searching all throughout the city. Like, why are there no bathrooms? There's no bathrooms. Like, it's not like they're out of order. They just didn't exist. And I finally find a bathroom and I can pee and I feel so good that I'm peeing. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I have to pee right now. Like, I've never had to pee that bad in my life. Like, it was the worst oh no (laughs) i I get up and i pee for like two minutes like i'm in the bathroom for a while peeing (laughs) and then i get back into bed i'm like oh my god i straight up started peeing in the bed when i was peeing in the dream (laughs) i was like just this wet spot in the bed like a five-year-old child i'm like oh my god it's like i had a dream where i was peeing so bad that it made me pee oh no oh my god oh my god (laughs) she just straight up peed the bed like an infant toddler (laughs) so funny and I don't know if I should tell this one but there is another uh, not toilet related story but this one is uh, bodily function related i'm really scared now oh god so when i was well let me i'll start with a a a preface so you're well aware that i can control my my ass (laughs) i can fart on demand you're what so oh oh yes that's (laughs) it I have always had this unique ability, which I, I guess oh, a lot of people don't have. I feel have, like I know can, where this is going. You can just, I can just fart on demand. I can just suck up air into my butthole and just push it back out and fart. It's just an ability I have, and I can do it whenever I want to. <laughs> oh, no, I feel like I know where this is going. <laughs> and <laughs> when I was about 10 years old, I was watching TV with my mom and I don't, I can't remember the context. I think she had said something kind of snarky to me. And <laughs> I was like, I know how to get her back. So like, I like walk away cause I was going to get something from my room and I get off the couch where we were sitting and I walk about three feet and she says something to me. And then I immediately drop my pants and then f- Fart. (laughs) (laughs) And all I, I didn't know what had happened, but (laughs) my mom started screaming. (laughs) I can't even tell the story. (laughs) 
my mom started screaming. <laughs> Like, like a blood curdling scream. <laughs> she just starts sc- starts screaming from the top of her lungs, <laughs> and I turn around, and she's like, "You shot a turd. <laughs> you, I'm gonna faint." She's like, "You shot a turd at me. <laughs> you shot a turd at me." <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> so it turns out <laughs> that I had farted so bad <laughs> that, I, <laughs> that I projectile <laughs> shot a turd out of my ass at my mom and it landed <laughs> In her lap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That that was a that was a rough one for me to get through. It, uh, it's such a vivid memory, but it's like I could only tell that story to like so many people. Girl, that is so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, oh I just remember God. I just remember turning around like after she screamed and I like saw her like jumping and like her hands were flailing in the air and then I looked out and there's just a turd on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> yeah, just, my punishment was she made me go get toilet paper and clean up the carpet. <laughs> oh and then she went to bed. I think she probably I think she probably went to take a shower. <laughs> oh girl. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I guess the moral of that story is don't ever piss me off because I'll shoot a turd at you. <laughs> and they'll be adult-sized turds now. Yeah, they'll be they'll be fatties. <laughs> It'll leave a mark. <laughs> Ew. Oh, yeah, I think that was uh that was my last accident story. I don't think I have any more accident stories. That that was like the big one. That was like the ending accident story. You were the one who made this episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just accident prone, apparently. You are, and that's why we love you. <laughs> it's fine. We have other episodes that are going to be all about your misfortunes later on. Oh my god! Trust me. I'm... <laughs> Once we get to the Disney one, absolutely. <laughs> but I I feel comfortable leaving that in the episode now. So I think that might be a good spot to end off accidents with that just bomb of a story. <laughs> good. That's solid. So uh, if anyone wants to uh, tune in for more sister girl gossip episodes, where we probably won't talk about shooting turds again. Um, or peeing on someone's <laughs> front porch. Or, pee, or peeing on someone's front porch. Um, but we will be talking about more crazy scenarios. If you didn't watch the dream episode, um, that one was already just a fever dream. So go watch that one and subscribe for more and make sure to like this video and share it with all of the people. Uh, especially your mom share it with, with your mom and be like hey mom at least I didn't shoot a turd at you like this man oh my god be thankful Yeah, be thankful <laughs> you're not me honestly <laughs> like go home tonight like hug your family and be like I'm thankful <laughs> I'm thankful I'm not this man I saw on the internet last night I'm thankful I'm not you girl trust me <laughs> girl I'm I'm thankful that well i can't not be me so i guess that's i'm stuck with it you're stuck yeah well it is what it is yeah and that's okay 